Okay. Okay, you guys, I did get some, like, last night I had quite a bit. Not, like, like massive, but it's, like, all night. And it's, like, berries. But sometimes there's things that I just, like, ugh. Rebuke it. Just rebuke it. Lord, rebuke it. In his power and might. Not of us. You know, he came here and overcame everything. But we have to, you know, through Christ. And, uh, wow. Yeah, but see, these are the things the enemy can use against you, the things that you used to um, be taken captive by. Yeah, and I was, I admitted I was, I was captive by the lust of the flesh and stuff, you know. And uh, even getting married to somebody that's been married, you know. And uh, I didn't marry till late in life. So by the time I married, you know, the first wife, children. She already had a relationship and separated. Second wife, grown children. And, uh, yeah, but it doesn't make it right. Why did they divorce? Who knows? It's, I don't know. You know, people can tell you anything. But anyhow, I know now that, uh, knowing what we know now, if a person is still wanting to fulfill the lust of the flesh and uh, knowing the times you know, that we're in and knowing the truth and then wanting to still do that. I believe he's, you know, the Lord helped me really tremendously through this. And the enemy, you know, he's only got certain ammunition. He's going to use that same ammunition probably until we're out of here. That's what he's going to do, you know. And, uh, but during the daytime while I'm awake and stuff, you know, I don't, um, I don't want a relationship. I don't think about it. And then even in the dream, when it gets too personal, I turn my head. I end up waking up from it. I turn away from it. Even in the dream. Sometimes in the dream, I'm looking at it and it's like, you know, what, you know, why not understanding it? You know, just kind of looking like, what the heck, you know? But then when it directs itself towards me, or if it's really extremely unclean, then I turn away and wake up, you know? But, uh, it's what it is, man. The ice on the vehicle this morning was literally starting to stand up, like little ice crystals growing tall. So that tells me it got really cold last night. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to get this cold. Spiritual warfare is going on, you guys. You know, people want to sit there and say, Oh, the Lord, you know, listen. The spirit of the world is the spirit of the world, man. Love not the world or the things that are in it. You know, that means just what it says. Or you're the enemy of God. And these people have been made to love it, even with their holidays. That's what this is all about. It's made to make them enjoy it. And they do. They look forward to doing it. And they feel good about it. And they're being taken captive in their mind to believe it's okay. Guys, it's not. It's not okay. But what's going to happen? Like I said, we're right there at the threshold of the second wave of the venom. Okay, venom. And uh, people are going to be finding out here real soon. That it's wrong. That they should have turned to the Lord. You know? I mean, really turned to the Lord and acknowledged Him in all their ways. Instead of, you know, wanting to see... They don't even realize these thoughts they get. They're Satan's thoughts. They're not his. See, if you're of the world, man, he's, he's throwing all kinds of stuff. He's driving you. You know? And telling you, it's okay. You know? And then you're going, oh, yeah, okay. And you're believing what they're telling you. And it's not. That's why it says resist it, overcome it. Yeah, nobody's been resisting nothing, man. They're okay. They're just going for it, you know? It's crazy. Anyhow. <clears throat> I came out here and started the car up to get it warm um, before I left. It was freezing cold out here. Made my breakfast. 
grits. You know, I have like an omelet every morning. You know, I've been like, after you've had about seven or eight omelets in a row, you know, a week and a half, two weeks in a row, well, these poor horses, you know. Sometimes people, when it gets cold like this, they got little things they put on the horse to help keep it warm. Just depends on the owner, I guess, you know, who owns it. And, uh... You heard what I said, these poor horses. You know? It's even good to have a little shelter for them, you know? Get out of the rain when it's raining, or... Oh well, can't do nothing about it. It's not my. It is not my uh, thing, and I'm staying focused on the Lord. You see how foggy it is right now, and everything was frozen out here right now. You can see ice on everything. Not on the roads. It was just cold that formed it. Cold. Maybe a little dew in the ground or something. I don't know, but it. it made do on this car. The car was perfectly dry dry when I parked it. Now I got all these uh, all this wet ice like looking forward to an end to this you guys just like all of you last night I got up for a while. Actually I got up and I rode on my exercising bike. I rode on it for about maybe 10 minutes. And then I went back to sleep. Yeah, and I tried to get away from some of these dreams. And, uh, see how enemy is going to use these things against us, you know. But I'm going to tell you, believe it or not, it helps you to be stronger against it, you know, it's not as bad as it was, you know, before, in the beginning, it was like, extremely, I had a dream the other night, uh, I have them every night, I don't like them, but it was like, in this room, I was, I was like, in one room, and I was looking in the other room, and there was a man and a woman, and they were looking around, and that room was about empty, hardly anything in it. There was a filing cabinet, maybe in a box with nothing much in it. And even the filing cabinet, you know, you opened up the filing cabinet, there's just a little bit of stuff in the back. And I believe this is the information that the devil is going to try to use against you to bring up things, to constantly harass you. And I believe the Lord was showing me that he's got very little left. Very little you know, the enemy, and, uh, like, they're running out of stuff, running out of things to look for and do, and, you know, that's why it says, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. doesn't say he's going to flee right away. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, I'll just resist it, it's gone. No, it doesn't say that. It says resist, overcome. What does overcome mean? You know, I mean, we didn't just overnight, one night, do something. This was something we did over a, a good while. You know, see, I can see where the sun's coming up over here, but uh, it's super uh, foggy, man. This is why it's called what? Huh? The Smoky Mountains. That's right. I am in the Appalachians, you know. These are the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Anyhow, everybody out there, you guys, be strong, be bold in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, we're going to get through this. We're appointed to get through this. He knows those. Those that were called, chosen, and faithful. We're appointed to get through it. So don't you know, feel like, you know, this is where you got to get your understanding, man. It's the wisdom of God. Just keep resisting it. Keep overcoming it. It's going to, it's probably, you know, you should be seeing where it's gotten weaker and weaker. 
providing you didn't, you know, give in to it, and, uh, you know, that's why they do it. They want you, like, when you wake up to be looking and getting involved in a physical thing, you know? That's what they want you to do. And then once they get you doing that, you know, crazy man you know that's why I stay steadfast scripture says that stay steadfast in this man do not um, somebody bought that house right there and it's all rotting it's, it's a mess the beams underneath of it it needs a whole new roof everything man somebody bought it I don't know what they paid for it but probably need to put another 60, 70 thousand in it just to update it and fix it up. You know, if not more. Some of these places, man, they just, you know, they run them into the dirt. It's a poor country out here, too. Poor. Very poor. And, uh, I want to mention, you guys, anybody out there, if you're able to, um, whether it's where you're at or even here where I'm at. I mean, it's very poor out here. I can show you some really run-down poor places, man. Um, but anyhow, like, we have a uh, police officer. He's a captain of the police force. He, uh, we, we, we buy these cards from the grocery store where he can go to the store and he shops for these people. Sometimes they go shopping with him. And uh, he shops for these people and uh, helps them. Especially like, you know, single moms or whatever. Or, in this case, there's a lot of grandparents that are taking care of their kids' kids. Because they're either, you know, dead from overdose drugs or ran off someplace with somebody and left their kids uh, or their fathers in prison. You know, it's bad. And I know it's not just here, man. It's everywhere. But anyhow, if anybody ever wants to uh, help in any way to uh, support that, we will be glad to accept any donations for that. And we give the police officer, the, the captain, he's of the whole county. And when I, when we first knew him, he was just a, a sergeant in, uh, in one police department. Now he's a captain of a county. But anyhow, um, this is, these are the things that he does. And that's probably why he's the captain of the county. Because he was involved in everything and they liked that. Anyhow, you know, if anybody out there, if you feel like you can, if you want to donate, you know, any donations are appreciated, and just mention it, and we will definitely use it. I don't have a, like a, uh, uh, what do they call my like GoFundMe or anything like that account. Just let me know, and uh, we'll accept anything that will help in any way towards that, you know try to do something for once a month, you know, that's what we try to do, we have been doing it actually, but uh, anyhow, I'm going to be coming on here live, I'm going to load this video up, and I hope and pray you guys that you uh, stay steadfast, strong in our Lord, and remember, um, resist the devil, overcome Okay, remember, he used to take you captive at will. So you might have these things coming up a lot more in dreams. You know, because that's the only way they can get at you when you're trying to rest. And uh, they only really come against those the most, I think. I'm not even certain about this. Um, if you have a, a calling, like it says everybody was called. Um, but if you are uh, speaking out really loud. And everywhere I go, you guys, I don't have a little weak voice. And everybody hears it. And, and I don't make excuses. And I'm telling these people, their ways, it's all of the world. 
there because they're you know right now your mind should be all about everything you're seeing this is god's power right now at work god is doing all this There's these people with this reprobated minds doing what they're doing um god's allowed this and i'm gonna tell you something else jesus remember he said not one of his he won't lose not one so a lot of these vessels that you see that are i'm dodging skunks and stuff in the road that are kind of they're dead um <clears throat> a lot of these what you're seeing um they're not his remember this he creates everything you know he's not going to give his children over to the wicked like that i don't i i don't believe that and uh i just don't believe it and I did see where, like, women were standing in line for abortions. Ah. Alright, I didn't get it. There's another dead skunk. It's a new one. I just had a squirrel run underneath my car, man. Didn't get killed. I just seen it as I was driving by. I was like, oh. You know, so some of these accidents, I don't think they can be helped. You know? Anyhow, God bless everybody in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Stay steadfast. Uh, the second wave's about to start. And you guys, once this all starts, people start dropping like flies everywhere. Um, we're done. You know, there's no more. You know, I, I told the captain that to you. I said, once this starts and it gets bad, we're done. We can't. You're not going to be able to help. When the famine and all that starts, you're done. You're going to do well just to get yourself out of the way. I said, lay your gun down and go home. Be with your family and trust in the Lord. And he said he would. Yeah, I told him it's coming. And the police, you know, they upholding all these laws that are an abomination to God. Yeah, and they just, you know, following their orders. Well, let me tell you something. We have a higher higher power and we need to be acknowledging and, and talking and telling people about it you know when I was at Verizon yesterday I was talking to four people and then two of them worked there and one of them said you know we're Verizon we're not supposed to be talking about these things on the job and uh, I'm saying no you're wrong you're supposed to just because they tell you I said everything they say is to get people to uh, be not acknowledging the truth. And it's better to obey God, and it is better that they spoke out. You know, it would be a different situation, but everybody's appointed to different things, and that's why. Because they choose the lesser. They're the ones that, you know, they had it, the knowledge, but they buried it. And they came back and dug it up and gave it back to them, you know. <clears throat> and everybody wants to believe, you know. Oh, well, he's just going to, you know, he died so we could, you know, he's going to forgive us. All we got to do is believe. They don't even know it's in Scripture. We're going to all have to stand before him. Anyhow, God bless everybody. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.